Welcome to the SAP uh, navigation in the SAP systems uh, case study. We're going to cover steps one and steps two of the case study today. You should have your uh, PDF uh, available to you that looks like this. And in this PDF you'll see that it goes through and it gives you actual steps here. Step one is logging on. Um, you should also have a PowerPoint to walk you through the logging on process. However, the, the major steps you have going on is you have a web link because the SAP you are using right now is the S4 version which is online. So you have a link that you'll either click on or copy and paste into your browser. Once you get into that browser you'll see a screen that looks like this, SAP NetWeaver. Um, the servers on top that'll be DAK which stands for Dakar, DAK. Then your client is 240. It's very important that you get your client number in there. Uh, or it's not going to work for you. So put client 240. You will have your user log on, learn, hyphen, and then three letters, or three numbers rather. Make sure you put that in there. Initial password for you is commerce, all lowercase, and then click the log on button. After you've done that, you will go to the next screen, which is asking you to change your uh, uh, password. So again, learn hyphen 123 whatever it is uh, for you that should be there for you put in your current password which once again is commerce new password put in a new password the only requirement here is that it has to be six characters long or longer no other stuff required just go ahead and put that in there you'll have to repeat that new password again click change and make sure that you write down that password somewhere Okay, that password matters to you and you're going to need to be able to use it in the future. So make it a password that you can remember. Uh, otherwise, you have to contact me and I have to reset it for you. Okay, that brings us to the initial screen once you click in to, to see what's going on. And so this is the screen setup that you should be seeing. However, it is possible. I'm going to go over to the SAP logon now. This is the logon that I'm using. And you can see here that this doesn't look exactly the same because it's missing a, uh, we call it an OK code that goes up in the, the top left corner. So it doesn't look exactly like it. So I want you to add the OK code. You can do that by clicking on the More. GUI Actions and Settings. Go to the Settings. Top left corner here on Interaction Design is Show OK Code click save and you should see now that you have a pop-up you see this um, the important part here is that uh, now you can put in actual transaction codes here and those transaction codes will uh, allow you to go specifically to one of the other items another way you can navigate here inside of SAP and all SAP is trying to do is it's trying to give you screens where you can input data to go into a database that's all we're trying to do we're either trying to put information into a database or trying to extract information out of the database. So like I said you can put actual transaction codes that's going to make more sense to you in a little bit. However you can also go through here and look at uh, a menu tree. Uh, for instance if you come down here to logistics and you click on the I clicked on the, the, the bar there to open up logistics and it says in the area of logistics you may want to input information or extract information on a lot of different logistics areas. One logistics area you might be interested in is materials management. Left click on it, it opens up more options. So in materials management you may want to go in and look at the material master on an item. So I left clicked on it and under material master now more items pop up. I click on material once again and then finally I'm going to click on display. So you can see all of these items that we clicked on in this decision tree um, along the way. All of them had little arrows or carrots pointing into them until we finally get down to actual transactions. See how the icon is different here? If I wanted to display a current um, item or display at a key date um, I can click on these now and it's going to take me into I just left clicked on it it takes me in and says hey what do you want to look at 
So that's what's going on there. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and back out of this. You can use the arrow to back out. You can also click on these and they will collapse them, bring you back to the original decision tree. Okay, and that takes us back to this main transaction window. Another thing I want to show you real quick is the status bar. If you come over on the top right corner, you see the DAC 240. So this is the server, that's the client. Let's click on it. It opens it up and says, right now I am using um, the logon learn 050 on client 240 system DAC, and I'm at the main menu. Okay, so those are the transactions, all the stuff that's going on. Let's go ahead now and see how that changes though. If we come back over to our decision tree and let's go to logistics. You see it open up our logistics area. Let's do material management again. Under material management, we're going to go to inventory management now. Inventory management opened up. Click on environment. And then finally under environment here, let's go to stock and then stock overview. And I'm going to double left click, click on stock overview. Now once again, it's saying, what do you want to pull up? It gives me a place to put information in. It gives me a place to navigate and, and try to get stuff into the database. Also, the last thing I want to show you here though, in this section is if we go back now over to our status bar and left click it, now it says that we're on transaction MMBE. That's a four digit transaction code. Okay, so just hold on to that idea for a second. MMBE. Let's click here, look at the screen, see what it looks like, click back out of it. Now if I type in MMBE, oh, it didn't take it. MMBE and then hit enter, it takes me back to the same screen. So SAP, you can either go down the decision tree to what you want to get to, or you can put an actual transaction code here and hit enter. Most people in the professional world are going to know the codes that they normally use. They're going to put the codes in there and hit enter. Uh, right now, though, you're learning the decision tree because it gives you a little bit of a, an idea of where, where you're headed and uh, everything else. Last point on this uh, quick video is your status. Um, you're going to get error messages and status messages um, in SAP. Oftentimes they're going to show up down here on the bottom of your screen. Uh, green information means everything is good. Yellow information means warning. Red information typically means that you have a problem um, and you can't move on without it. So that's steps one and two. Hopefully that uh, helps you get things moving. All right. Thanks.